Alright, Shalom. All praises unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Yahushai, Double us unto the elders of all sorts of great most souls. Shalom to you, since Yahkim, Christopher Wins, with us forever, we've been scattered, the righteous remnant returning. Unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai. Alright. This is Galatians 6 and 9. says, Let us, therefore, says, Let us not be with. Galatians 6 and 9 says, Let us not be weary in well doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. All right. It's all about us striving to enter, okay, through the straight gate. All right. Through much tribulation shall we make it into the kingdom. All right. We're not perfect. We are going to get weak. All right. But through our, in our weakness, okay, we are made strong through faith in Yahweh Pashim Yahushai. That's the only thing that's keeping us, okay, on track. Okay, it's the supplication of the of, of the the Holy Spirit. Okay, Harakakotash, that we able to, with that we are we're still able to get back up. Okay, as the Scripture says, the righteous man falls seven times, but he is always constantly, constantly getting up. Okay. Strong's G, fifteen seventy three, Ekakeo. Ekakeo, they are slow. Strong's G, fifteen seventy three. Ekakeo, Ekakeo, they are lexicon. Second entry. Egg Kakeo. Egg Kakeo. All right, says a tweet. Utterly speech. Um, <laughs> it says to be utterly uh, spiritless, to be worried, uh, to be worried out, exhausted. Scripture says what the scripture says in the book of Corinthians. Uh, we not despaired. Uh, scripture says in the book of Ecclesiastes also speaks about the most I saw what was happening. Uh, that, and that was what there was no comfort, but the comforter came. Uh, The hope is not lost, all right? We're not helpless because we have Yahweh Bashim Yahushah, Bashim Rakakadash. Okay. Let us not worry in well doing. Okay. You can't. You, you, you can't afford to be spiritless. Okay. Uh, that's, that that all means that the scriptures are not resonating with you. They're not resonating with your spirit. The scriptures. Okay. Because. All these things were written for our for our learning, uh, through the comfort of the, of the scriptures that we might have hope. Uh, n- there's none who ever trusted in Yahweh was ever uh, that was ever disappointed. At the end of it all, Yahweh Bashmiyasha always came through. The same thing is going to happen in these days, uh, in these last days, uh, at the return of Yahweh Shah, uh, whereby the saints, the elect. Are going to be glorified as Yahweh Shai. All right, they're going to finally, finally receive rest. Okay, and before that rest comes, tribulations. Okay, tribulations, till we enter into the kingdom. Okay, many are the afflictions of the righteous. All right, Lord, cut the facts. Okay, the same thing is happening right now with the righteous men of Yahweh Shai. Yet remaining, we, yet until this day, we still are remaining for that rest, to enter into that rest. Okay. And this is the time to not. This is the time to 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 hold firm. Okay. Uh, what's that? First Peter. Let's get that. <coughs> this is a First Peter chapter one. <coughs> Verse 18. It's like you. (coughs) 
First Peter chapter 1, <clears throat> verse 13. And as wherefore gather up the loins of your mind, be sober, hope to the end, for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Yahweh Shaha Mashiach. Uh, it says at the end there shall be a reward. Uh, and now what we see today is the, what, the fruits of the faith of the saints of the Most High, as the whole of the hopeful elect. Uh, as we see the, the hopeful elect awaking, okay, to who we are. Okay. It may seem small unto those who are carnal, who, who are not spiritually minded, but we see this is this is a major sign. Okay, beginning with the gospel being preached for the four corners. It's a major sign. Look at the prophecies, what's happening. Okay, these different sanctions. Okay, these, these are these lunar eclipse. All these things that are happening. These are the signs that which are foreshadowing the return of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. All right. Says of First Peter one and thirteen says wherefore says wherefore gather up uh, the loins of your mind, be sober, hope to the end. Uh, don't become spirit, uh, spiritless. So I, Psalms fifty uh, fifty one and eleven says take not away from me the Holy Spirit. Okay, because once the Holy Spirit okay, gets uh, taken away from you, okay, that's when you're gonna become what lifeless, uh, and you don't want to see yourself do uh, uh, falling victim to that. Uh, you don't want to uh, <laughs> query, okay, of well doing. Uh, what this says in Book of uh, <coughs> in Corinthians it says, we know this for a fact: they shall be well for for, for them that that, uh, that do the works of Yahweh Hashem, so to speak. So like, yeah, I'm gonna have to get that one. It says that uh, First Peter one and thirteen says, wherefore get up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end, for the grace that is. To be brought uh, unto you at the revelation of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Okay, we're still waiting for, for the uh, for the revelation of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, his second return. All right. Where about this says in, in, in John? Uh, it says what? Let me get this one. This is our first John. All right. <clears throat> uh, the third chapter, I believe. <clears throat> This is our first John 3 and 2. First John chapter 3, verse 2 says, Beloved, now we are the sons of, of Yahweh, and it doth not yet appear uh, <coughs> what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him. All right. It says, uh, For we shall see him as he is. All right. And we have absolute faith in all of that. Uh, that's why it says here in, in, in First Peter three and eighteen, how uh, it says, it says, it says, it speaks about hoping unto the end, the grace which shall be revealed in us, okay, at the return of Yahweh Shai, at, as his at his uh, revealing, at his second return, because uh, you gonna if you gonna be uh, lose faith and patience, right now, as the scripture says in Ecclesiastes the second chapter, what well, want to you, okay, that have lost patience, all uh, right. So the Most High is not going to deliver you. Uh, all that labor would have been in vain. All right, and you don't want to see that happening. All right, Yahweh forbid. Okay, First Corinthians. So like it's first Corinthians uh, fifteen chapter <clears throat> 
This is a First Corinthians 50, <coughs> all right. Verse uh, 50, 58, all right. It says, uh, it says, therefore, my beloved preferring, all right, the hopefully elect, all right, it says, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, all right, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Okay, this work is not, but it's not in vain, all right. There is a reward promised unto those who diligently seek Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shah. All right, that's a reward. All right, Hebrews 11. Okay, so the book of Hebrews 11. Okay. <coughs> so the book of Hebrews chapter 11. So like it go of Hebrews eleven. Let me start at uh, verse six. I'm gonna jump down. So Hebrews eleven verse six says, uh, "But without faith is it impossible to please him, for he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. If you diligently seeking him, you you wouldn't." You won't run up. You you would not run out of out of energy. Uh, you won't you won't become lifeless. Okay, spiritless, as it says there in the definition of uh, Galatians six and nine. All right, you won't you won't run out of steam. Uh, you will stay on fire, and until the end. Okay, f because of the hope. Okay, like like one of the disciples said, uh, one of the uh says it's like is a. Yeah, the apostles said unto Yahweh increase our faith. All right. So what uh, so you could be able to, to abound more and more as, as more trials and tribulations uh, uh, arise and increase. So must what so, so must uh, the faith increase. All right. If not, you're gonna end up becoming uh, sp uh spiritless, okay? You're gonna weary in well doing. Hebrews eleven and six says but without faith it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh uh, to the Most High must believe that he is, and is a re and is a reward of them that diligently seek him. All right, we're not supposed to what? Uh, this is our Hebrews. All right, let me jump down. It's like. So that can is a Hebrews eleven and uh oh here it is, like so Hebrews ten. So like I was thinking of another precept. This is a Hebrews ten. Alright. Hebrews chapter ten, verse thirty. Hebrews 10 and 35 says, says, Cast not away therefore your confidence, which which have great recompense of reward. Because right. uh, the, this present uh, afflictions that we, that we are facing right now, okay, and, 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 and more heavier persecution, it is nothing which is to come. It's, it's nothing in comparison to the reward which is to come. All right. That's what the scripture says. It says, Eyes have not seen. All right. No ears have they heard, okay, what the Most High has prepared unto them that what, hey, unto them that they're going to serve him continuously so until the kingdom be established. Uh, what it is prepared unto those who love him, those who didn't seek him, unto these saints, the chosen. Uh, so right, right, that right there is supposed to, 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 uh, to motivate you, it's supposed to be more than enough motivation, okay, to not, to, to not become weary in well-doing. Okay, this place is vexing, but truly speaking, these tribulations, okay, the present suffering of the moment can never be compared to the glory which is about to be revealed, okay, at the return of Yahweh Bashim, of uh, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, okay, when the Mosa Yahweh Shah shall finally say, you know what, Yahweh Shah, it's time, okay. Hebrews 10, 
is that the first is cast not away therefore your confidence all right because this is our trust all right scripture says in Zephaniah Zechariah says what well, turn you to the stronghold this is a stronghold okay we're the prisoners of hope and we have full confidence all right and assurance all right in in the word of Yahweh Hashem all right in this sound doctrine that has been delivered unto us okay but with the elders and the apostles of great most okay it says cast not away therefore your confidence which have great recompense of reward it says for ye have need of patience that after ye have done the will of the most high Yahweh and his will is what is, is what is to bring this word out all right to prophesy against this place this current uh establishment Okay, to tell you this place is going down uh, with great violence, uh, with great force, okay, by death, destruction, okay, unprecedented, okay, scales of, of, of violence, and, okay, none, none has ever seen since the world was ever created, as, as it says in Daniel, the 12th chapter, the first verse, there are many more scriptures, all right. This is the will of the Father to present, like it says in Romans, the 12th chapter, the will of the Heavenly Father. Okay, it says Hebrews 10 and 30, 36, for, for ye have need of patience. All right, long suffering, we have to suffer through the through all of this ordeal. Okay, but it's, it's, it's worth it. Okay, it's worth the price. It says, for ye have need of patience that after, that after ye have done the will of the Most High. He might receive the promise. All right. This is the will of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. This is the book of Romans. <coughs> All right. The book of Romans 12. Okay. Doing the will of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. A fully able bodied, okay, Israelite, you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Uh, Proverbs 8 and 8 this goes unto you, men, okay, are called, ye sons of men. Okay, you Israelite, the flock of the Most High's pasture is what well. are men. Okay, if you're able to understand this truth, uh, it's time to get up your loins of your mind. Be sober, be diligent. He, uh, Habakkuk, the second chapter, stand upon your watch. All right. This is uh, Romans 12 and 1 says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the message of the Most High, Yahweh, Hashem, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto the Most High, which was which is your reasonable service. Alright. Just it's only reasonable. Alright, it's in comparison to what? Into the reward that is that is to come. So hell no, you you, you can't get weak. Okay, you can't afford to to become weak. Alright. Scripture says, uh, if 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 you're getting weak, pray. The Most High is the ones that are going to strengthen us. Okay. Make your prayers be known unto Yahweh Shemosha. And when you do that, you do it with faith. All right. And you keep on striving and diligently seeking His face continually. All right. Pray without ceasing. The Thessalonians goes into that. All right. I believe in the first Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, four. All right. It says, uh, Romans 12 and 2 says, and be not conformed to the to this wall, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is, what what is that that good, and acceptable and perfect will of the Mosa. All right. Let me go back to our Hebrews ten. So Hebrews ten. All right. 10 and 36 says for ye have need of patience and that ye after ye have done the will of the Most High." okay uh, Matthew 24 he that endure unto the end verse 14 I believe he that endure, endure unto the end the same shall be saved uh, alright it says of for, ye, for it says for yet a little while he that shall come will come and he will not tarry uh, we hoping unto the end all right, with that all praise unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahusha, Bashim Bakar Kadash. So, uh, with that all praise unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahusha, Bashim Bakar Kadash. 
Dabalon Santuvio, Zaposo, Shalom, Susin Siakim, Shalom.